We hear a lot about outbreaks of stomach bugs on cruise ships. So, Dr. LaPook, when this happens, what's going on there? It can be a number of things. Uh, it can be infectious, so from bacteria or virus, or it could be from food poisoning from a toxin. If the food stays out too long, the toxin itself can be made by bacteria, you eat the toxin. That's the kind of thing that causes you to throw up right away. Mm -hmm. um, the most common cause of infectious gastroenteritis in the United States is from a virus called norovirus. It mm -hmm. is incredibly infectious. In fact, billions of these, of these virus particles are shed in the stool um, when somebody has infectious diarrhea, and it only takes about 18 on average, on the median, for you to get infected. So you only need a, a little bit of infection, and uh, it causes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain. About half of the people get fever. Uh, you just feel, feel lousy. So where does it come from? What causes neurovirus? Well, virus is out there. What, what caused, how the very first virus came out there is, is beyond my pay grade. Mm -hmm. But once it's out there, uh, it can spread very quickly from person to person. And in fact, when you get the virus, um, you can be infectious for a couple of days before you even have symptoms. And then you have symptoms, an average of you know one or two days, th three days, uh, can be even longer. And then you can be shedding the virus in your stool for days or even weeks later. So what happens is somebody gets sick, um, you have vomiting, you have diarrhea, there's a lot of infectious particles there, and people get it on their fingers and they put their fingers in their mouth. There's also some evidence, and this is kind of gross sounding, I know, mm -hmm. but this is the nitty gritty, it's kind of what happens when people vomit, it can get aerosolized. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you clean it up and you're not wearing a mask, you can get the, the infection. And it, it can be really brutal. <sighs> Sounds like nasty stuff. The CDC had some wonderful tips, and I actually, I have a cheat sheet from there. Mm -hmm. The first was to prevent it. Wash your hands with soap and water. Very thoroughly, supposedly you're supposed to sing happy birthday uh, twice to yourself, so people generally, and that doesn't mean doing it quickly. It means, you know, the, the, the normal rate. Right. Um, you can use the alcohol-based sanitizers, but that is not instead of soap and water. Soap and water is really the best. Right. Um, then rinse fruits and vegetables before you prepare or eat them because you can have surfaces, you know, where you get infection and then uh, as you're preparing food it can spread onto the, to the fruits. The fruit may come infected already, so just wash it thoroughly. Um, they say specifically with things like shellfish, like oysters, cook them thoroughly. Norovirus is hard to kill. It can survive low cooking temperatures and they specifically say make sure you cook them up to 140 degrees or higher because a quick steaming will not kill the virus. Um, mm -hmm. And then obviously use your common sense. Do right. not be preparing food if you're sick. And I think people get faked out because you can still be infectious, still have that virus shedding three days or longer afterwards. So that's, yeah. that's a big thing. Uh, they say clean the surfaces and counters uh, with disinfect them, uh, disinfect them and then also do for an added touch use a bleach solution which I have to say I normally don't do in my normal cooking but I guess if somebody is sick if the household is is infected then you have to be especially careful and the last thing was remove and wash clothes and linens that are soiled with vomit or feces and you may have to do that with rubber gloves be very careful because that is a very common way for people to get uh, infected this made me think of something else. So cruise ships will say that they're sanitizing after there's been an outbreak on the cruise ship so that the next round of passengers will not get neurovirus or whatever the virus is that's going around. Is it really possible to eradicate one of these viruses from a well, cruise ship I like th that? I think you can if you, you thoroughly you uh, wash and especially with the bleach. So uh, bottom line is uh, we're talking about 20 million people a year who get in infected wow. with norovirus alone in the United States. It's very common. Usually people recover, but it's something, if you're especially the elderly, the very young, can be especially susceptible. So it's, I think it's something just people need to know about. So if you do get it, what should you do? Is, should you go to the doctor immediately if you have <laughs> symptoms of neurovirus? Well, of course, we always say call your doctor for advice about things like this. The most important thing is hydration mm -hmm. because uh, there's no specific treatment for it in terms of an antibiotic. This is a virus, antibiotics treat bacteria. Um, things like uh, electrolyte solutions. Uh, my favorite, personally, is chicken soup with rice because for mm -hmm. a lot of fancy schmancy reasons, it actually decreases diarrhea and it increases your ability to absorb fluid. Generally, you tend to get over it. The most important thing is stay hydrated, right. stay inside, stay away from other people. Don't be hugging other people and don't, giving them the infection. Don't be throwing up near other people. <laughs> Always a great. good piece of advice to Yes, have. great. Thank you so much, Dr. LaPoo.